again. Sorry to come at you real quick like here on another video. I'll try to keep this short. But if you remember in my previous video, go, go back and check it real quick if you would. I was talking about the density and how low it got and all of that. And I was trying to figure out, you know, I even said it, um, you know, I didn't know what was causing it. Um, but something's come to, <laughs> some of the reports and stuff, some of the data's coming in. And I think I've got what I actually think is going on because this was actually confusing me very, very much so. And I said that in my video. Um, but I want to show you a couple things here first. Okay. Um, this is our magnetos magnetosphere. Look, at this is a top-down view. Okay, now I'm going to scroll through this, okay, and you're going to start seeing a little bit of hits, right? Um, this is, you know, it started back on the 4th, okay, when this happened, but this this right here is on the 5th. It's continuing as we speak. Um, it's for multiple hours that we had a crack in our magnetosphere, um, letting stuff in, and um, yeah. <laughs> It was uh, totally unexpected. Nobody's seen this coming, which is why I was puzzled by it. Um, but as we, as you can tell, guys, if you look out front there, I'll try to find the timestamp here. What I want you guys to notice, let me get my draw tool out. Um, sorry about that, guys. Kind of, this is impromptu. I wasn't planning on doing this, but um, anyway, that's what's going on. You can up here, you can see where the pressure's there. The density's higher there. Um, so. In other words, we're getting hit in a very specific area. Usually, if we're getting, you know, just straight solar wind, it's actually, the whole front of that should be just about the same color. Okay? Um, but right now, obviously, it's not. So, as we go forward here, watch what it does. Okay, did you see that switch? Look where it's at now. Now, I don't know why that happened. Okay? There's a lot of theories and stuff when we see stuff like that, but in my mind, that's directional. Um, for some reason it, it jumped really, really quick to the other side. Um, and again, you can see how it stayed up there for many hours and then watch what it does right here. And I'll, I'll walk through this real slow when I get to it again. First off, we had a safety shutdown on the satellite because it detected this. Okay. And it went down for safety mode falls. So, um, as we toggle through here, um, you're going to see. Okay, that, that was a jump of like 30 minutes, 728 to 750. Okay, and that's typical for a safety shutdown. But I, what I want you guys to see is this. Okay, you can see how the energy is transferring to the other side there. Well, why is it doing that? Well, I'm going to show you the crack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> see that? Now, this happens sometimes, guys. We've I've never talked about this, but this is one of those times where none of this was expected. Okay, and it's, it's allowing a lot of energy in, and we're getting massive auroras that was not even on anybody's radar. And you know how what auroras are caused by the solar wind, and we, we see them on the poles usually, and the further down they get to the equator, um, the stronger the, the solar wind typically is. But we're not getting increased wind speed, guys. And I just showed you the density in my previous video was at zero almost. So, you know, it's our, something's happening here is what I'm trying to say. Um, this is something that's not normal. We should not be seeing this. Um, so I don't know what, you know, what the end result here is, but you can clearly see this thing. See how it's trying to repair itself? But you can clearly see that right in the front, there is, there's an opening there. Look how it's coming in. You can even see it there coming in right there. Okay, and this is still, this is like just a couple hours ago. It started happening a little bit before this, and I guess I could show that to you if you guys can be patient with me here a little bit. Um, I'm going to have to go back a little bit more in time here to show you on the on the 4th is when this started. Okay, but I, what I really want to show you is watch out front. See how that switched? I mean, like immediately. Bam, look at that. And then there's that opening right there. Now, what... You know, did the solar wind cause this and, and whatever is going on there? Or did something inside our bow shock, us, did something happen there? Um, I don't know. I don't see it doing anything but just kind of getting crazy. I mean, it, that's that's nuts. Um, you know, this is, if this 
is normal somebody please tell me but i guarantee you it's not this is you know we do have small cracks in our magnetosphere sometimes but it doesn't typically last for that long and especially long enough to give big huge auroras and i'm going to show you what they look like here in a second okay um as you can see that that thing is that that hole out there is staying there now don't what i want to, what i do want to say is out here our bow shock is still there okay but the energy that's making it past our bow shock is coming into our magnetosphere through this okay so if you could imagine if we didn't have that bow shock out front how much just crap would be coming through um i wouldn't check some of the geomagnetic activity things um that's like i showed you before it's barely even it's just in normal conditions so this is explaining a lot of these odd signatures i just showed you guys in my previous video and you know this is something that personally i've never actually been able to pinpoint a crack in the magnetosphere by using these models and um, that's usually detected by data and you know i'm not sure if there's even a model to show that there could be i i'm, I, I'm not aware of it if there is but as you can tell we're still getting and see, and see check this out look this is right now this is the most recent capture see how we're getting intense density there and it's not up there okay now i will say this last time right here we did take a bit of a hit um let me back it up i think i seen the wind speed get to 600 maybe uh, let's see here if i could find it <laughs> bear with me here guys it may not have regardless 600 is not that fast anyway okay so right there is when we should have seen the increase in wind is when that hit us now it just is not rising that much but this is explaining why we it looked like we were taking big hits because there's a crack in the magnetosphere stuff is getting through um so you know for whatever that's worth guys we definitely have to pay attention to earthquakes right now okay um and i've told you guys this before stuff comes in easier on the poles um and this right here this even actually helps explain why our imf lines were broken i mean we just basically lost our connection altogether okay now i haven't showed you guys this look what happens here let me back this up okay this, this, the imf lines are the blue lines guys that's our connection to the sun and other celestial bodies okay they should not be broken none of them are connected there's no imf lines out in the front look what's going on in the back okay now watch what happens okay and that, that's a, that was a that the satellite went down again for like 20 minutes for safety in other words the satellite's getting something that's causing it to go down for safe mode all right now watch what this does there's a hit now watch what happens our pole lines will get stretched out towards the back and then down okay right there you guys see that these are the black pole lines so why is it getting pulled that direction i don't know all i can tell you is that this is definitely why we're seeing such a big disruptions because that that uh, there's a crack in our magnetic our magnetopause or our magnetic field guys that's what's happening it's getting through um again is this a massive ordeal i don't know i really don't think it is but at the same time guys you know we're first seeing auroras that we didn't even have any idea was going to happen for multiple hours to me man that is just something crazy just saying okay this right here shows it beautifully all right right there okay and like i said in my previous video i showed you guys this and it was really nuts to me then i might not have showed you this part of it um because i was showing you guys the density and what was going on with that you know we had zero density but for it to go from the top there to swing around and then go to the bottom so you watch what it does okay maybe i went too far sorry about it. there it is all right there it is then it moves to the bottom look see the hole is there now that's going to move some too guys because you got to think our magnetics move they're not just stationary all right so that hole could move it could do this it could do that um that is most definitely what's going on there 
least in my opinion. And it's still there. Okay, we just took another hit right there. This is the latest capture. Now, you know, is the hole still there? The crack still there? I don't know. If it is, I mean, more stuff's going to get through. And again, I tell you what, I'm going to pause this for a second. Okay, guys, I went back a little bit more in time just to show you guys. Um, I'm going to show you this is on the 4th, and this is pretty much the whole day. Now, what I want you guys to pay attention to, and I, like I said, I, I noticed this already before, but you can see right here where it's kind of opening up a little bit. Um, we're definitely open out front some right there, but watch what this does. That's why all that pressure is getting in so close to the surface. Okay, you can clearly see, look at that. It's on the back right here. That doesn't mean we can't get energy in through there. We got to think that this is three-dimensional. So it's almost like a donut. It's coming up over the top and going in. All right, kind of like here's the solar wind goes over the top and comes in the back. All right, this is what that's showing me. Now, again, I also have to show you here, look, it's still up here too. Okay, but we don't typically see energy in that far. Um, we have before, it's not unheard of, but it's not something we see on a regular basis is what I'm saying. I mean, I've even reported on it before. Now, again, it's, yeah, <laughs> this has kind of got me a little, little puzzled on why, I mean, it, it's, for me, it is, it's answering a question for me, why we were seeing these things, um, seeing these, whatever going on, right? So, yeah, check that out. That's crazy. I mean, it's just nuts. So, guys, here you go. This is the density I was showing you. Now, look at the time frame. What's that showing down here? That was on the 4th, okay? <laughs> so, and again, we're getting hits now, too. So, our, it looks like the velocity is actually coming up some right now, too. Um, but, you know, none of this was predicted. Not a, not a single bit of it. Okay, so there's, they've already adjusted the inlo model because something changed. Okay, that's what happened. Something changed there. So I, I, I don't know what else to say about that, but I'll, I'm going to take you over there and show you. Uh, well, I was showing you guys this too, if you remember, right? This is on the fourth too. Look, that big long lasting duration. What that's showing you is that's pretty much the duration of what that is. So I don't know what else to say again. Okay, guys, this is spaceweather.com. Um, they're showing these roars right now. Okay, this is what happened. That is an impressive aurora. Okay, and what are they saying here about it? Um, they are saying, you know, no geom geomagnetic storm, no problem, right? But it says on, on January 4th, auroras filled the sky over Norway. Okay, this guy photographed it. And, um, yeah, I'll get, I'm sourcing that out to you guys. You guys go check this out. Um, but it says what was going on there. But then it says, indeed, auroras were not in the forecast for January 4th. Solar wind speeds were low, just like I told you guys. And no geomagnetic activity was expected. We, this was not expected at all. So what happened? A relatively small crack in the Earth's magnetic field. That's what happened. Okay, and I just showed you. <laughs> I just showed it to you. Um, it said it opened. And it stayed open for many hours. Okay. Now, I don't know that it's saying that it's still open, but that's what I seen. So, um, it says slow moving solar wind uh, percolated through the gap. Okay. That's why we were seeing this stuff. It says eventually providing the fuel for auroras. So, yeah, guys, that's just crazy. Um, it's awesome that we can actually see it visually. So, let me show you again. Okay, guys, this right here is the solar wind like I just showed you. I just wanted to give you a last look at this. So, again, watch what it does. Okay, see, if you look at, if you look at that right there, you see how it, it's not as dense on the, on the southern part? Okay, and I'll watch what it does. It shifts, okay? The, earth went in, the, the satellite went into a safe mode again, and when it came back on, that's what it looked like. Let me back up one frame there. Maybe two or three. Let's see. 
There it is. That's what it looked like when it first came back on. You see all that dense particles? That's what was going on there. Okay, and then we tried to defend it back off and see how it kind of bounced back out. So th this is why we're seeing these funky signatures on this tool right now. And this is current. You see how it's way different here right now. Okay, now I've been watching, it's been doing this for about a week now. Okay, and I, you know, usually I would just keep an eye on it if anything happened. Well, something's happened, so I wanted to bring it to you guys. Um, and again, this here is going to show you the what it actually was doing. It's going to show you the crack. Okay, so we go back here where, where nothing was going on. And then we go forward and boom. Okay, it's on that on, on the upper part. Goes to that, goes to the lower part, and lo and behold, right there. Now, if we go back even further, like I said, into this time, into the into time, you're going to see that there was a, actually an opening there and an opening on the backside. So, you know, I just don't know what's going on with this. Um, it's definitely something we need to pay attention to. Um, so, yeah. Okay, guys, we'll end right here on this. This is a, just another way to look at solar data, um, space weather data. Um, you can see where the electron flux just went crazy. Okay? And it shouldn't do this when we're having low density and low solar wind speed. Okay? It's just not normal for it to do that. Um, I didn't see anything that would cause the, mag the, the magnetic field to actually crack open a little bit. I didn't see this get like a big huge hit or anything like that. So it may be something internally that's going on here. Um, something obviously has caused that. Uh, and again, guys, a crack in the magnetic field isn't necessarily not heard of. We actually see that sometimes. But what's what's crazy about that is it actually got and it opened up big enough for several hours and allowed some stuff to come in. So this is why we pay attention to this, because, you know, if it just say it was a little bit bigger and um, we could have had a pretty decent sized geomagnetic storm make it past the satellites. <laughs> OK. Then wouldn't give us any kind of warning and then, you know, electric goes out or have some sort of brown out or something. I don't know if it was strong enough. I guess it could. But could you imagine, guys, this is what I'm talking about on this end of it. Let me let me show you one more. OK, guys, this is the current current pick of our sun. All right. Uh, from our view. Now, again, here's the equator. That's about the position of Earth. This is that sunspot we've been talking about and what I talked what I talked about earlier in my previous video. Could you imagine if we had that that crack, okay, in the magnetic field in a position that it was actually allowing stuff in enough to cause auroras? Could you imagine if we had a solar flare at that moment or if we had a CME get to us at that moment? Could you imagine what would happen there? Um, I don't know how those things actually uh, open up or, or actually get even bigger or smaller. Um, there's a whole lot of, probably a whole lot of science and stuff behind that to try to understand it. But the fact of the matter is, if we got hit with a solar flare while we had a crack in our magnetic field, it definitely would have hit us a lot harder. Okay, we just wouldn't be able to fend it off as much. So, um, yeah. So I'm going to end with that, guys. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't planning on doing this, but when I seen that, I was like, oh my gosh, I was just, you know, talking about that. And then I started seeing reports about them getting auroras unexpectedly. So, um, yeah, so we're going to end it there, guys. Uh, go back and watch my previous video, too, if you want to see what I said about, about it the first time. Because I was actually, actually questioning what that actually was. Why we were seeing such a big uh, hit on our magnetosphere and stuff without any increased solar wind. And the speed wasn't there, and I showed you guys the density was almost not even there at all. It was there, but it was so low, the detector couldn't actually give you a reading for it. Um, so, anyway, um, I'm, I am going to end it there, guys. So, uh, yeah, if I if I hear anything, oh, we did have like a 5.8 earthquake also um, during that time. And actually, the, 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 the earthquakes actually had an uptick. We were seeing a bunch of low range like 2.5, 2.9, 3.0 type of earthquakes. And then right around the time that crack opened up and we started getting energy in, it, it seemed as though the intensity of them went up a little bit. And I might show that in my uh, next video. But um, yeah, guys, have a good day. Have a good weekend. Um, yeah, God bless. Yeshua saves and um, you can still drink this Kool-Aid.